Emily Hunt. I'm Dr. Clark's assistant and an auxiliary instructor at the BioClear Learning Center in Tacoma, Washington. I'm going to walk you through Dr. Clark's case. Tucking the rubber dam is a very important step in the BioClear matrix process. The tucked rubber dam seals the gingival margin of the matrix. Disclosing solution is then used to identify any areas of biofilm. Then, the use of the BioClear blaster is needed to remove areas of biofilm indicated by the disclosing solution. Holding the blaster close to the tooth will allow for optimal biofilm removal. Sometimes the use of a scaler is needed along with additional disclosing and blasting until all biofilm is removed. In this case, the teeth are undersized. Therefore, Dr. Clark used an A103 small incisor matrix on both the mesial and distal of the central incisors. You can see here that the matrices are not fully seating due to the patient's young bone. Using the micro scissors to trim the matrix will allow the matrices to follow the rise and fall of the attachment and allow for better seating. After inserting the trimmed matrices, Dr. Clark uses slow, gentle pressure to help the matrix seat further apically. After doing this, you can then trim off the incisal portion to create a wider opening. Here, we are using Hebanent to help control any bleeding. We then move on to using etchin. Etching the mesial of the neighboring teeth is done in case any adhesive gets on the teeth. It will be on etched surfaces. We then rinse away the etch and thoroughly dry the tooth. Now we'll start the steps of injection molding. Massage the adhesive onto the tooth, being sure to thoroughly cover all areas of the tooth. Air thin, then insert the tip of the heated flowable composite apically and inject the heated flowable into the interproximal areas facially and lingually. Now inject your heated regular composite into the pool of flowable, dispersing the flowable out facially and lingually. To remove any excess flowable, use your brushes until all flowable is removed facially and lingually. Here, Dr. Clark is using an instrument to move the matrix to create a more broad contact area.
To remove the matrices, use an explorer, insert at the incisal edge, and work down gingerly. Then use a hemostat to remove them.